Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to the Jetty Jet Show. I'm Jet or Jetty, whatever you guys want to call me. It's cool with me. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Kind of lightheaded because my brain works faster than my mouth can speak sometimes. So let's slow it down. Let's take a deep breath. All right. So this is an old process video from my old channel, Jetty Show. Yeah, I think Jetty, no, Jetty Jet Show. Yeah, the new one. We are now on the Jetty Jet Show. It rolls off the tongue a little faster. I, I think so. But, um, this is from my old channel and it didn't have any talking with it so technically we are doing a brand new show um, he is my personal character Kim Pumcha the beast man um, I'm not sure if I want to stick with that name yet but uh, yes he is from my personal story that I created for myself way back before art school and he may be familiar to you guys because he is also my YouTube avatar and also my Google account avatar and I also dabble in a similar Beast man character design from time to time so you might see him pop up randomly every now and then um, but hopefully I can begin working on him soon in the story in the comic book because it's going to be a comic book or manga um, I'm, I'm planning on working on it once I have enough money saved up and I won't have to worry about uh, like loan payments and cost of living and things like that uh, let's talk a little bit about the drawing um, how do I paint like this 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 style is very experimental. Uh, it's, as you can see right now, I'm putting down the flats, but I'm also creating textures like this painter, painterly like texture, I'm trying to get the flat tones where things are red, where things are green, things like that. But overall things are, this is pretty much a, a warm color palette. Um, right now I'm, I'm adding some color some light bloom again. I don't, I don't know what the hell I'm doing because I was having a lot of trouble uh, with Manga Studio, this is this is when I first got Manga Studio, and um, I was just first learning about the painting and mixing uh, features that Manga Studio has. Um, so be warned if if you're not familiar with uh, like traditional paints, um, it can be a little difficult, even for me. Yeah, so I, I did have I did have trouble, but that's a that's a good thing that comes out of of, of the struggle is that you get a lot of a lot of. Uh, like happy accidents and it, it's like be beauty out of the chaos and a little bittersweet feeling comes out of it because I would probably have a better approach a more streamlined approach now and I wouldn't be able to capture this kind of this, this kind of feel this kind of spontaneous feel so if you're having trouble with the uh, paint mixing feature like I did in the beginning you can turn them off for the brushes in Manga Studio if you go to the tool property settings and just turn them off and it'll act more like the way you want them to and, and less like wet paint similar to Photoshop um, but if you want to avoid the problem altogether you can just use the pencils or the ink tools because they're set um, by default to, to not react to each other like wet paint alright so let's do a quick little breakdown of this painting um, the first thing is the lines are really loose because I wanted to favor the painting over the lines so I kept them loose and light and I also tinted them slightly red to help it uh, blend with the warm color palette next I created on a new layer underneath the lines my flats and flats are basically all the colors of the objects um, on your drawing uh, unaffected by light and shadows so no like highlights no dark dark shadows just one tone for all the colors that you choose so the color of his pants color of his skin hair those are all the flats and the trick is is to paint them all slightly darker and desaturated but keeping in mind the relative or you know in relation the relative values like if his hair is light it's going to be slightly lighter than his skin but overall everything darker because you'll, you'll be pulling out the lights from those flats and that's where the problem happens here in Manga Studio is that I tried to pull out the lights on the same layer and since it's acting like wet paint putting light paint on dark paint it's gonna get muddy and it's not even gonna show up and it acts it does a really good job of that but you can use it to your advantage to create some color variation or hue variation it doesn't do a very good job at pulling out the lights but it's great for mixing paint so um, the trick to getting color variation is getting one of taking one of the brushes and painting right onto your flats and you can choose whatever color you want uh, to, to bring some crazy colors in there uh, as you can see his shoulder is slightly redder than his chest his chest is like yellow his stomach is is slightly green um, you can use purples blues whatever you want 
um, but it's on the flats. And to get around the lights, I just created a new layer and painted out the lights. Light is on top and it slowly recedes as it goes down because that's how light works. And it also keeps the focus on his face. Um, I didn't render out the lines because I, I did like the sketchy look and the sketchy painterly paint. So I just pretty much ended it right there. So that's pretty much it for this painting. Um, heads up, this weekend is Fanime in San Jose and I will be going to check it out. So if you guys are in town, come say what's up or run away because I probably will give you a big old hug, high five, slam dunk, <laughs> beat you up. <laughs> I won't beat you up. Don't worry about it. But yeah, definitely come say hi. If you guys if you guys spot me, if not, I'm cool. I won't get hurt. Um, probably just check out, scope it out, see what what talent is out there. Um, I am looking forward to to get a booth and a table with uh, um, cynics in an, at Anime Expo in in the future. But uh, for Fanime, I'm not I'm not getting a booth. So it's it's just I'm just there to, to hang out. Um, but yeah, in the future, hopefully I could even booth with Sykra and, and Bob and, and everybody else. That would be, that would be freaking amazing. Um, probably also will be checking out APE, A-P-E. Um, that's the Alternative Press Expo in San Francisco. Uh, hopefully I'll get a booth for that. But I'm trying to get out there and meet you guys because I really want to meet you guys and and thank you guys personally for all the support that you guys have given me. And for the newcomers who are just discovering me now, this is the Jetty Jet Show. And on this channel, you guys can look forward to tips and tricks, tutorials on basic drawing techniques, uh, figure drawing techniques, painting, anime, how to make a manga. Um, we'll cover character design for video games and animation, and illustration, pretty much everything that I've ever learned um, from my exploration in art and in art school because I did go to a ex pretty expensive art school and maybe save you guys the trouble from, go from, from doing the same thing. But even if you guys are going to art school, maybe you'll find something helpful on this channel. Um, I also do live streams with other artists like Sykra, Waveloop, Costa, Cynics, um, and hopefully more people in the future. But we kind of just draw and have a good time. You know, full around, draw live for you guys. As you guys already know, my channel's filled with those type of episodes. But um, in, on those episodes, we do full breakdowns and walkthroughs because I'm drawing live, of course. Um, but we don't just do art on this channel because uh, I also look forward to doing like these Monday shows where I just talk about relationships. And those episodes will be called Heartstrings and Paintbrushes or Paintbrushes and Heartstrings with my best friend Steven and hopefully other guests as well. Um, where we just talk about relationships because I think it's good to to just you know take a step outside of art and and um, be more well-rounded and talk just about life. It could just be uh, it could be about relationships. It could be about life. It could be about problems that you guys are dealing with other than art. Um, so that's another show you guys look forward to. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Keep drawing. And as always, bat up, pat up, boom, peace.